Today I'm going to talk about strength. Often when we talk about strength, we think about the strong man flexing his muscles or an Arnold Schwarzenegger or some massive brute of a human. I used to know some people that knew Mother Teresa. And they told me that they were shocked when they first saw her because she was so small in stature, almost like a child. And yet she had the strength of probably 30,000 men. The resolve and the ability to keep on keeping on, and that is my definition of strength, has nothing to do with the physical. Well, at least its important part. I believe it's mental that the strength forms and develops in your mind. And when it does, well, you realize that strength is not just a physical quality. It is in the mental sphere of expression that strength will enable you to follow through on decisions that you make and to hold firm without letting go to spiritual principles in your daily life. You are strong in the Lord and in the power of God's might. You are strong in God and God is strong in you. You're always your strongest when you are most faithful in maintaining a close connection with God. And you realize that your source of all your strength is God. God's strength within you can neither be depleted nor exhausted. It is continuous and it's ever expanding. You can always draw on the resources of strength that is within you. In a time of prayer, you call upon God's strength, and you feel a surge of life and strength. Your strength is renewed in body. Your strength is renewed in mind. And your strength is renewed in spiritual awareness. Strength that will lift you up and keep you up. Strength that will fill you with energy. And strength that will fill you with enthusiasm. You can meet any feeling of weakness with a good prayer affirmation of strength. Such as this that I'm going to give you right now. And I invite you to write this down and use it this week. I am strong in the Lord and in the power of God's might. Again, I am strong in the Lord and in the power of God's might. Say that with me. I am strong in the Lord and in the power of God's might. Hold that inside and believe that at the core of your being. Confidence in God's strength is fully justified in every respect and under all circumstances. Like it says in Psalms 46 verse 1, God is our refuge and our strength. I pray this week that God is your strength. And that God comes through your mind and through your body and through your soul, giving you what you need in the moment when you can best use it to bless you and to bless others. Amen.